Okay, we are back. It is Stonewall 2020, World War II Recon, and this is a bizarro game, folks. This is an S4 game, actually played in April, and uh, S4 is the four squad variant of the S2, so it's obviously Recon, same mesh, but with, um, normally you play this with like four teams instead of just two, but they're playing as a two-team variant, which is perfect because you can play it with fewer players, there's fewer units. So they've got, um, over here it's Twink City in the west, and he it is Slithman, captaining Overdose, Spy, and Snotling. Uh, who, who these people are, I have no idea. Obviously Overdose and Spy we're familiar with, but I have no idea. Slithman, Snotling, you got me. Opposite them, it is Scratch with Father Xmas, Leo Chills of Money, The Thermals, and Bridgestone Tired. And so, you know, I think uh, Scratch probably has this one in the bag. I recognize a lot more of his players than I do uh, the players on Twink City. But who knows? Uh, now, since this is S4, it's going to be a little more difficult for these players, these guys, to um, sort of scout each other out. Because normally they would know that, you know, exactly where the enemy's flag is. But here, they're, uh, they can see it on the map, in this case, since I think they've left the map on. But my point here is that they are not certain, in fact, that the enemy team is over here. Or indeed is up here. So they, you can see that they're sort of scouting out, like this Father Xmas going on to the planes, he's not sure. Obviously there's not going to be anybody on the planes because uh, Team Slithman is far, far away from that. So you can see here, Overdose just going up to the hill. He wants to pick up some of these RPGs, maybe, you know, get started on that pile, maybe do some spam. Uh, didn't pick those up, so he must already have a couple there. Yeah, so he's just scouting things out. It looks like there's Leo Chosen Money coming down the mid. So I think he's going to spot him. And over here, yeah, it's uh, the thermals. Uh oh, this is not good news for Snotling. Uh, he is he is really exposed in that water there. That's going to slow him down. It's going to him to dodge. Uh, thermals is just going to go to work on him there. Takes out one of his units and tries to get him with a couple of return shots. No luck there. But he's going to walk right into a cannon blast. What a shot from Slithman saving Snotling's bacon there. Uh, that is going to keep them tied amazingly. Now you can see still the. Uh, kind of flank on the planes here from Father Xmas. Uh, I don't know what he's playing at since, like I say, there's nobody there. And there's certainly no flag there. Uh, ultimately, they're going to have to kind of refocus and get down on this flag, which you can see Team Slithman still needs to set the D up on. This is Overdose. Ah, oh, those grenades. I think he was trying to toss an RPG there and clicked out of range. Yes, because uh, Little Chosen Money is picking up these RPGs over here. There goes that pile that was popped by, I think, Father Xmas. Looks like he blew somebody up there, too. And he is going to run into a bit of a duel with Overdose. This is kind of classic stuff. Are they going to duke it out? Grenade going out there, Father Xmas. Big Zook from Overdose. Some damage done to Overdose there. Another Zook, but a kind of missed opportunity. Looks like more grenades flying. A lot of damage, though, there on Father Xmas. He's in trouble. Oh, but he gets return on Overdose. Overdose is going to get him, though. And it's going to be down to 1v1 here on this crazy duel. These guys are just going to have to duke it out. Here comes Spy to support. And uh, Spy with three units there. So I think uh, Father Xmas is in a lot of trouble here. Whoa, that was really close. That cannon for Scratch there doing the work. And here we have, I think this is just going to be the end of Father Xmas. Any minute now, he's probably going to get a little bayonet. Yeah, so he goes down. And it is the Chosen Money coming towards the flag. So uh, he's, whoa, there. He does lose lose, lose a unit from Snotling. And he's going to have some serious difficulty here. He gets those RPGs off. Are they going to connect? Not too much. Well, he does some damage there. But he's going to have difficulty because the rest of Team Swiftman is going to be able to collapse on him. That spy there. Those grenades. Oh, no. This is going to be the end of the Chosen Money. Yep, once those mines go off. Um, and that big grenade from Snowling. So he is in a very bad position. He's just machine gunned there by Spy. So the D is able to hold that one down. As you can see, the thermals uh, coming up here to keep fighting against uh, Spy. Uh, looks like the percents, it is Team Scratch is way down. They've got the cannon and then about three more units. That was a bad missed RPG there from the thermals. And he is in a lot of trouble, Spy, and uh, well, just Spy at the moment. But they are in complete control on this hill. Uh, which, of course, they're fighting over this, but there's really no point because there's nothing to fight over there. There is Overdose. He must have walked off to get a heal. And, uh, yeah, the Thermal says, damn. So that is not looking too good. Uh, their team is, Scratch's team is significantly down. I think they only have possibly two units left. 
plus the cannon. So there's the cannon. And, oh no, I guess I just have one because it's 25% for the can. So it's just Father Xmas at this point. And uh, he is going to have uh, his work cut out for him to try to sneak around and take out uh, Slithman's defense here. Although Slithman only has his cannon on the D. Uh, though he's clearly noticed Father Xmas here. Uh, if he gets it, whoa, no, that was a lucky bounce. That was a big RPG shot from Father Xmas. Does some damage to Twink City's team, but it is uh, just over there. And he is walking in against so much firepower. I don't think he can take this. This is kind of a homer. Uh, he just wants to cause some chaos here if he can. But it's not like doing Yeah, He's just being machine gunned there from Spy with that big three unit pack. And they take him out over those with that kill, I do believe. So unfortunately for him, it is only going to be a scratch now all, all alone with the cannon. And, uh, yeah, Phil Harrisman says he wasn't sure what to do. That is a fair point, because there wasn't much he could do, uh, given the defense. I think that uh, the uh, sort of attack... It's, it's unfortunate, because this flag is actually really exposed, right? It's, like, on the downhill here. Um, it's difficult to defend. It's in the swamps and all this. So it's actually fairly exposed. If you, like... Yeah, I guess if you do come around from the plains down this hill, or just straight up the mid, which it looked like uh, Leo Choza and then Father Xmas were both kind of trying to do that. But Spy... And um, Overdose blocked them decisively. So no luck there. And now they are up uh, huge numbers. This is two units each for Spy and Overdose. By the looks of it, it looks like Spy was headed off one unit to Overdose. And they are going to just walk up and uh, you can see Overdose over here. Oh, Snotling. Oh, yes, he still had one unit left. So anyway, they are closing in on this flag now. RPG's going out from Spy there, just doing some damage to Scratch. There's not much he can do Five at this point. He can contest, they, you know, he can keep this contested for a little bit, but they will just eventually bayonet him, which is what is Spy is doing right there. And then, uh, good for Scratch, taking out, he has negative damage for that, but he takes out uh, Spy's unit with a suicide, and unfortunately that ends the game since he had the only unit left. So it's a big win for Team Twink City. Uh, kind of surprised there. Like I said, I thought Scratch would have had this, but I mean, can't count out Spy and Overdose. Like, such skilled players there. And then uh, the cannon work from Slithman was quite fantastic. Look at that. Four kills on that cannon. Big hits there. Not a lot of damage, but big, uh, big kills. And then Spy, of course, fantastic. Look at the damage numbers there. Uh, so... Yeah, the rest of Team Scratch not quite able to, to put the nail in there, and it looks like it's going to go to Slithman.